Ghanaian High Life Sensation Bisa Kide says individualism and favoritism is killing Ghana music. He said, and I quote, Our elders have a proverb which says a single broom can easily be broken, but a bunch of brooms cannot be broken, meaning that there is, a, there is strength in unity. That's how we ought to do the work. If we start doing favoritism by throwing all our support behind only one artist, whilst other artists also need support, then we all, get, we all can't get to move forward progressively. I hope you understand. So it is good for all of us in the music industry to unite, push Ghana music to um, the world. Um, that he utilized the um, Stone Boy for being hardworking in his quest to make Ghana proud. Mm. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of conversation coming out of Ghana music industry. Um, them not supporting each other the way they're supposed to do. Them not being what's the word now together. Because I don't even understand the idea of individualism in this topic per se, but I feel like everybody's doing the much they can do. As much as I'm not in Ghana and I don't know exactly what is transpiring or what he has experienced personally for him to keep on saying all these things. But I think um, too much talk does not get the job done and they should really come back together. Maybe him and his, this is B, right? And then the three S, they all sit together and have a conversation. So you should get some way. more Bs written. <laughs> Maybe not make it le about letters instead <laughs> and just <laughs> push everyone out. Yeah, because I, I don't know why the, the conversation is always, oh, you people are promoting one person and not promoting the other. I think music is also, the business of music is also about the people who are consuming them. So if they are fine with, it's just like me trying to um, come after Whiskey FC, that's what they call themselves, right? Because they love Whiskey. And then there's one artist I'm trying to promote and they are not buying into that artist yet. And I feel like it is their fault. Mm. Why not go back to the drawing board, maybe try check your promotion, check your style of music. If they, I'm not saying you should leave your unique style, but there's mm. something you could do. Of course. And maybe even if it's just jumping on the trends of social media to get... TikTok is doing a lot for a lot of artists. There are songs you don't like, and um, after it's gone viral on TikTok, it becomes a big deal. Like Bob Daddy, I know that would be weird, but yeah. I know I love Faust, but I never liked Bob Daddy until yeah. it became a challenge, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of things you can do to push yourself. Maybe those people need to sit down with him and everybody find out what they can do to push themselves globally. I, d I don't think Canadians necessarily are that conscious about, about really... Should I say presenting their music and their culture to the world? So I even noticed when I got to Ghana that they copied a lot of things that Nigerians do. That for me is already a sign of weakness. Like there's no one that wants to come to Nigeria and we'll start all of a sudden we'll start wearing Ghanaian dresses for our wedding days or like we'll leave our ghillie and start putting the one hand thing that Ghanaians do. I think they're easily swayed a bit with music. Um, and they, they, I think between themselves, they struggle with either like, um, staying indigenous and being indigenous or trying to convert their music into commercial music and i think the insecurities that happen in that community is obvious and so you've given us the outsiders the choice to pick whatever we feel like so whatever we think is palatable but i think nigerians are the opposite like even if we don't like it we will make you like our songs this even if it's just yoruba or just Igbo, if you don't understand the thing so i understand that there is some type of like um well, I say uh, an necessity in, in that industry and how they support each other. It's nice that he's promoting Sarko, uh, sorry, Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Uh, it's nice that he's doing that and he's pushing behind that. But a lot of the times, I think with the music industry, sometimes your music just speaks for you and you don't need that much support for it, if that makes sense. And if you're not getting it, it might not be because it's individualism. It might be that your music is just, it's just not that great. Mm. I think everybody should focus on their platform and stop being distracted by what others are doing because you're trying to say, oh, promote this, promote that. You don't tell me what to do with my platform. So focus on yours. Bisa KD is quite big, like I said earlier. If he's doing so much with his, if he's doing so little with his platform, maybe other people would even look at it and be like, okay, that's the way to go. Instead of everybody trying to point accusing fingers all the time. So my advice to Ghanaians is, can we just stop talking and start acting? Thank you.